Hi there, this is uh, Joseph with another uh, QML tutorial. And um, in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to add external files to our application. And you may be wondering why this is even something that is important. Um, let, 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 let's just give a simple instance of why this is important. Let's include a Q file, which I'm sure you're familiar with because you've watched the other tutorials on Void Realms channel. Um, if not, though, uh, Q file is uh, used for reading and writing to files, uh, you know, uh, checking permissions, do it, do, do, doing a bunch of stuff, right? Let's take a look at this example right here. Let's copy this and, and close this down and paste it in right here, right? So let's take a look. It says Q file, right, is equal to file, right? They're, they're assigning a variable here and they're saying that it is this right here, this in.txt file, right? It has no idea where it is, but whatever. There's some magical file called in.txt. And then it says, if the file can be open for read-only mode and for text, then, uh, or I'm sorry, if it cannot be uh, open, then return. I would do some Q debugging here and uh, whatever. Uh, Q text stream, blah, 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 blah. None of that's really important. But what is important here is, is that we have a file name that it needs to read from, right? So, and, uh, you know, I would also call it something like new file.txt or something. Anyways, how do we add something like that, right? Um, pretty simple, actually, as it turns out. Let's go back over to our deployment right here and let's say other files. We'll say plus uh, equals, and we'll say print working directory. Uh, and that, what, what that means is just the directory of which the application is, is underneath itself. And then we'll call some, I don't know, some file name for files and uh, new file uh, txt. Okay, wonderful. Let's go ahead and open up a terminal here. And let's, whoa, hello. Let's make a directory called files. Now let's change directory into that files directory and let's go ahead and touch a file called uh, or aka make a file called new file dot txt okay list there it is there's nothing inside of it if we cut it out list again there's as you can see nothing inside of it okay wonderful let's get out of here let's go back over here and let's do some let's uh let's save this now and we should get an other files thing over here, which we do, which is great. Now we can actually edit it from the creator. Um, this is where I will edit this thing, right? Great, awesome, we saved that. So now we need to be able to put it into our application itself, right? So let's make, some, let's make a variable called my files. Uh, keep it all lowercase, no, no need for, get out of the way, helper. Uh, and then we need to put files after it. That's a kind of a global variable there. And then we are going to assign one of the files for my files. Right? We could we could add more and more. If we had more of them, we would just add you know whatever foobar blah 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 blah. Uh, but 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 that that's not needed at this point. And so what we can do is just do that. So now we need to be able to deploy these files. And again, we're just using Unix um, and we're not using Android. So I'm I'm just gonna. Uh, you know, there's just no reason for it. So I'm just going to remove the uh, Unix. And, um, you know, I, I don't need all this other stuff, but I'm, I'm just going to keep it there just for right now. Um, just so I don't know why I did that. Anyways, so we need to create a path here for our my files, right? So my files, whoops, my files dot path. And we are going to set that equal to the same as here. But at the end of it, we're going to put on the extra directory of files right there, right? So now we need to export that path. So what we can do here is just simply copy and paste, but we want to put it as my files, right? Dot path. So we've exported my files dot path. So now what we can do is actually install my files, which is which is what we're trying to do this whole time, right? So my files, right? With an S at the end. Let's make sure we all get we up there we go. So now when we install and run this, these should actually install to that path right there the, of, of which we've created. Um, and let's just make sure that this is closed, that's closed, that closes, and that closes. Okay, good. Um, and if we wanted to, we could do, you know, uh, win 32 and then, you know, blah, 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 you know, so some crazy, I don't even know how they do it, like you know, see whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, anyways, you know, we could do it that way. So anyways, again, recapping here, 
this part right here is so that we can read it in Qt Creator. This part right here is so that we assign the files, the extra external files that we're going to be using. This tells it where we want to install it, and then this actually installs it right there, right? Okay, so if we actually take a look at, let's copy this and open up a terminal. Come on, there we go. And let's change directories to there. Middle button isn't one, there we go. Take a little list, let's remove dash recursively. And remove that files directory, that's from a run from before. So as you can see, there's nothing there now, right? But if we install it, and we do another list, there it is. And if we change directory to that files, and we cat out the uh, new files, this is where I will edit this thing, right? So if I actually go back over here, and then I write in, I don't know, yo, yo, fool, I am great. And so it's QT. Awesome. Save that and run that. Go back over to our thing here, and we actually cat that out again. You will see, yo, yo, fool, I am great, and so is cute. So anyways, this is how you add external files. Um, we could go on and on and on with this underneath our deployment right here. We could have something like, you know, if we had like a desktop file, uh, if we were making a Unix application, it would be like this, and then we would have to go down here and add those in there also too. Because we would want to install that, obviously not to opt target bin, we would want to install that to user share applications. Um, and then the same with like maybe some icons or something like that if we wanted to. Uh, there's there's tons of stuff, that log files, there's tons of stuff that you, you want for external files. Um, or at least I use them quite a bit. Um, not necessarily for what we're going to be using them for, but I wanted to give a use case of how you can uh, install external files. Well, uh, this is Joseph, and uh, it's been real. Uh, take care of yourself and have a uh, be nice to everybody out there.